Hello and happy Vlogmas. I don't know what day it is. I'm gonna be honest, Vlogmas is really hard to keep track of if you can't like vlog every day or post every single day. So anyways, uh, today is the fifth. Yeah, I'm just hanging out here with my little bud. <laughs> uh, this thing, don't worry. Uh, it's a thing. So, um, I have work. I'm only working for four hours today, though. I'm just covering lunches, which is amazing. So, that is not till midday. Um, I obviously need to get ready. I did sleep in. So, I had intended on being up a lot earlier, but that's fine. You know, it's no big deal. Um, need to get a couple things done today. Um, oh, you upset she's mad because I'm not talking to her she can see that I'm talking to something else um but <laughs> I need to get dressed for work so I'm not getting ready for work <laughs> I'm doing this how am I supposed to not do this if the dog is willing to like honestly I have time this snuggle bug oh my goodness oh my goodness also like my jumper and her match so so I ended up staying snuggled with the dog for a while. She's still snug. I need to make my bed, but she's all snug there. Um, I have to go eat breakfast, even though it's like late. But you know, um, mornings been a bit delayed, but delayed by my dog's cuteness. So no real complaints here. I'm walking to work today. Again, um, a lot of the time I get a lift in, but um, I'm home alone at the minute. And uh, it's raining. So not so happy about that. Also, yes, if you can see that line on my lip, I burned it. Waxing, so. Like, not heat burn. So yeah, that's how Wednesday's going so far. Happy Wednesday. I'm so glad I'm only at work for four hours today. So I am just about to head out the door. Obviously I've put lipstick on over exposure. But I need to take a thumbnail. I don't have my watch on. I need to take a thumbnail for yesterday's video, if you didn't see it. It was, yeah, I don't have time. I'll do it later. Uh, makeup declutter, I decluttered. Oh, this can be the thumbnail. Problem solved, that was the thumbnail. Um, yeah, I decluttered my makeup pre-moving. I will link it in the card here. Um, but it's also the previous video on this playlist. So now I'm off to work. There is a mess and then I had to put hairspray in my messy hair because it's so staticky. Um, you've probably seen it already from my more close up. I'm wearing, I think this is Sao Paulo from NYX. It's the liquid lip. Uh, these cute hoop earrings with pink on them. And then this sweater dress and boots. Um, basically, I wanted to wear pajamas. You can't wear pajamas to work, so you wear a sweater dress. Also, I can't find the slip for under it, so it's really clingy, but it's fine. Uh, follow me on Instagram to see what I'm doing on the day-to-day. -day. I usually have more in-depth outfit posts and outfit of the days there, and moving updates, etc. So, let's go to work. So we are back at home. The clip you saw previously, um, right after work, my mom was grocery shopping. So I had to do that too. And um, I am currently dying of a sinus headache. If you get sinus headaches, you know what I'm talking about. It's kind of like on the level. I think I've had like one or two migraines in my life. It's on the level of a migraine though. And I know what caused it, but it's my own fault. But Anyways, um, I'm here with my doggo. Sparkers. Hi. So, like, since then, I came home. Since being, a, I'm confused because of the sinus headache. Um, since being, I went to work straight to the supermarket. Like, it's across the road. I live in a small town. Um, well, it's a big town, but, like, geographically small. And, um, came home after grocery shopping and 
I had to go to the pharmacy because here's an issue. Um, why do they sell medications that you take two of in a dosage in packs with uneven numbers? Maybe this doesn't apply. Oh, my big thumb. <laughs> to everyone I know in the States, a lot of the stuff you can buy in like bottles, like rattly pill bottles. Um, but we don't do that here. It's EU regulation that everything is in blister packs. So... Anyways, I had to drive around the corner to the pharmacy because we had one started tap. And you can probably hear the congestion in my face. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to have some dinner. I tried to get my mom to take outfit pictures of me because I showed my outfit earlier. But I have these cute pink hoop earrings, this hot pink lip. And then this grey sweater dress, just like a regular work outfit. But I thought it would be cute to get a picture in with my dog and they all turned out really shit so <laughs> yeah today's just not my day um it really hasn't been feeling like this month so far as my month either well the last like three months <laughs> but uh, who's counting um so our tree looks really pretty though um it's obviously up super early i know because i'm leaving so soon after christmas but yeah um <sighs> So yeah, the struggle of trying to take Instagram pictures, um, because I was home alone this morning and I wasn't going to get out the tripod and camera and stuff. And then I was rushing because I had slept in and I was snuggling with the dog, as you saw. Um, and then like, obviously you can see out the windows, it's completely dark. It's not quite 5 PM. So, or it's just like five past five. So obviously it's completely dark out. So I can't take any photos outside, which is frustrating. Um, so yeah, tomorrow, yeah, that butthole lip, um, <laughs> tomorrow I'm not working till one, so, and it's like customer's day or something, so there's going to be a lot of people in there, so I've got to look cute, um, so hopefully I will get an outfit picture before I leave with the tripod and stuff, because my mum won't be here, um, but I feel like I'm getting sick, if I am, I'm getting really sick. That would be really bad for going to London. And I'll probably start packing tonight, so. Woohoo, that should be fun. I have recovered for the most part. This won't focus. Focus on me, not on my bedroom. So, for the most part, I have recovered from my sinus headache. I'm in my wardrobe now, I'm gonna rest you here. Will that work? I'll hold it like that. I've recovered from my sinus headache. And on discussion with my mother, we actually believe I'm getting migraines because I get like goosebumps and stuff on one side of my face and it's all very dramatic. It's extremely painful. But now the painkillers are working, so I feel much better. Also, I ate. I had only eaten cereal. That is why I ended up getting one because when you work 12 till 4 and I left at like quarter past 11 because I had to return a package um, and I was walking. It's like too early to eat lunch and then it's 4 p.m. then I was at the grocery store and then whatever. So on this edition of the glamorous life I live, I'm not in focus. First off, bazam, I'm what's important here. Not my shitty second place. Not second place. This was grade six, ballet. And this was uh, second place out of three people. So go me. But I'm going to depill some sweaters. Yeah. So people always say, oh, cashmere, it pills so bad. Uh, not in my experience. Honestly, it's my cheap and nasty sweaters that do it. For example, this cute one. I was taking pictures in today. So it is It is cute. I do like it. But it's from um, H&M. And I do have some really, really good sweaters from H&M. That's why I bought these. Because I was trying to shop a bit more cautiously. And I have a really good two sweaters I think from H&M that I've been wearing for like four years four or five years one of them so I was like I'll go with them but this was not true and then my mom has given me a cashmere sweater of hers that she doesn't like the style of the neck of it I posted my last Instagram picture uh, which I'll insert here because I didn't get another Instagram for today but that's from uh, El Corte Inglés I believe it's like a department store on the continent <laughs> in like Spain and I think Portugal not sure but yes long story longer I'm going to depill some sweaters because there's one I want to wear in London and I'm going to start like outfit planning 
because tomorrow I won't be home till late because we are closing at eight. Um, but I'm done at seven and you bet your ass I don't hang around. But I'm not being paid to be there. I'm like, bye. I like run out that door. So it's specifically it's a black kind of a turtleneck that I really like. This is a cowl neck. I know the difference. And yeah, I'm gonna try and like plan some outfits. Consult my friend on what is too extra, what is not, etc. So let's get rolling. I'm here with the sweater. I'm going to try and depill. I don't know if this thing works. No, I'm going to go look for an electric one. I was going to do this and talk about something I think I tried to talk about it this morning, but like was kind of delirious. The short version of the story is um, I was under the impression with my visa that I couldn't apply to certain types of jobs, which is true. But this particular, and obviously it has to be an internship, so, but certain types of internships or, um, there's like unskilled labour and then there were certain things that were out of bounds. So I was like, okay, fine, fair. Even though one of those things was what I ultimately want to work in, I was like, okay, that's fine. And then I never applied to any of them because I was like, that's not allowed under the terms of my visa. But then somebody suggested it to me and I was like, oh, that's not allowed under the terms of my visa. I swear to God, Bible, I saw it somewhere, it was said at some point. Um, but I can't find it in my, this one particular copy of the contract, kind of contract, but like rules I have. And basically I missed the closing date for the application that would have, they were actually taking interns as well. Um, they had like applied to intern with us, um, just the one. And I missed the date, it was the 19th of November was the closing date and um i applied two days ago i think i didn't talk about it on, on vlogmas like but i i would be i'm gonna be honest i'd be a good candidate for the position um and it was just that i was too late and they have gone forward with another candidate they got back to me i applied anyways even though it was super late and i applied on the third so um yeah that was kind of frustrating so basically yeah i figured out that it wasn't or i couldn't find any proof of it in these particular documents not me not being allowed to and they were the ones that really matter like they're the actual like us ones not the use it ones um which is the what's the word i'm looking for like the group the company that i'm going with so um yeah that was really frustrating so i'm applying for the june through august internship which is good but i need to email her back and say yes do keep me on file i would love to be considered for the next round but it's still really a bummer um so I still don't have a job and I was told that nobody was gonna hire me while I was still over in Ireland that's why I kind of stopped looking um because it was really stressing me out but I didn't know if, you know I don't know if stopping actually took off the stress any bit I also need to find housing life is a bit of a stressy mess right now there's too much of it being a stressy mess for me to pretend that it's not in vlogmas because like it's a huge part of my everyday at this minute in time and it's not something i don't i want to pretend isn't you know it's a huge life change a real kick in the t it's not even a real kick in the teeth if you saw me <laughs> joking earlier about my um trophies i'm pretty good at losing I don't really know how to explain it. I just, I'm not upset about it, but I, I would describe myself as like a natural born loser. I, I just, I don't ever win things. Like as a, as a, or get the things that I go for, or compete for as an individual. As a team, it's always really good. Um, but as an individual, I always just <laughs> never make the cut. So, um, except for auditions, I did get on my university's dance team. That's like the only thing I've ever gotten. So that kind of thing is, it's like this whole thing of like applying to like over 30 places and getting, this is my fourth rejection, but this isn't even a real rejection. It's just like, we can't even consider you because it's way too late. Um, it really, it's kind of a bummer in the way that it's made me realize like I'm just so used to it, but we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna keep plowing on. We're going to Deep Hill Sweaters and we're gonna go to London this weekend and it's all gonna be fine. But if you're in Washington DC and you're taking interns, um, specifically in like politics, diplomacy, 
government affairs, <laughs> PR, like political PR or working for an NGO, if you're taking interns, let me know, hit me up. I would appreciate it or else I'm going to be moving back to Ireland in March. So, life man, stressful. So I just spent like half an hour over half an hour trying to depill this trash sweater but it just really really goes with an outfit I want to wear in London so I bet you I'm gonna find something and be like oh actually that's cuter but uh I just want to show you excuse me can you see that like this is my hand for size comparison like there's so much and like I only did the front I only did the front and the front of the sleeves because I honestly did not want to spend all my time trying to deep hill is sweater. Why is it so hard to focus on my face? So now I'm going to get to more outfit planning. I'm going to bring up the coat that I'm planning on wearing because um, it is kind of that cold and then pull out the shoes that I want to wear as well. And look at that. Ooh, that's a 2009 poof if I ever did see one. Um, so yeah, figure out what bag I'm going to use. Ugh, I should have planned for this. I kept putting it in my planner being like, start planning London outfits start planning London outfits but did I do it no we're gonna do it now I need to check the temperature I'll text my friend and be like it says the temperature is this much how many layers do I really need to wear probably not that many to be honest because we're gonna be out and about but it's just making sure that I have all of my outfits all of my accessories etc so I know what I'm wearing day one I think well not day one one of the days <laughs> Um, we're going to a really cute, like, Instagram-y cafe, I think on Saturday. I'm gonna ask her about that. And then, like, we might have to wait a good while. And, like, one outfit, I was like, let me check what outfits I wore last year. Um, and I was wearing one of them. So, I don't really want to wear the same one again. Maybe I will, like, I don't really care. You gotta wear your clothes a bunch of times. I just realised I have another black turtleneck now. Okay, great. I didn't need to depot that sweater. That's amazing. Anyways, that sweater's trash. I just love it. I love the shape of it. I love how chunky it is. But yeah, I'm going to see what the other sweaters look like. I have two options it's that I have the same sweater in two colors that would go with that and they're a turtleneck. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to bring up the coat and start trying to outfit plan. You can see here the jacket and bag that I showed in day one. I could bring that, like that's really cute. And then I wouldn't need to like wear my coat over that. That should be fine. If I had like a long sleeve under that, that'd be totally fine. Um, I'm quite sure. So like I could do that, but that like is, that looks really, really extra. So it's fine for like dressy occasions. Like I don't actually have anything, like there's nothing wrong with wearing it on the day to day, but it's just like, <sighs> you know, it's a lot, but I love it. Like it would be fine if I just wore the jacket. Maybe I'll just use the bag. Maybe I'll just use the bag. Maybe I'll just use the bag. That'd be, yeah, that's an idea actually. Even though I fucking love that jacket. Anyways, I need to stop procrastinating and talking to a camera and actually, plan some outfits. This is a look and a half PJs, losing my voice, but it is outfits are planned for the most part. We ended up with a bit of a struggle, um, but I'm just going to roll with it. Basically, I had bought these really cute jeans from ASOS to wear. There's like no stretch in them and I'm kind of a, I would say a chunky girl as opposed to a curvy one, um, even though I am pretty curvy, I would say, but more so chunk in this case because yes they are really hard to get on that's fine most pants are and um, <laughs> they're really tight on my stomach now so uh, they were when i bought them kind of and they were like totally fine my weight goes up and down a lot especially on my stomach so it's too late now i leave like the day after tomorrow so i'm gonna wear them on sunday it'll be fine i'm wearing them with a top that's more forgiving because it's literally like so tight on my stomach like my fat rolls are coming out over the top um they're high-waisted as well so it's like not like belly belly it's like uh, the skin under my ribs is like uh trying to escape so anyways maybe i'll kind of talk you through i didn't lay the boots out like this they just fell like that so I'm not going to show my feet. 
because they're weird people on the internet. So, on Saturday, I think I'm going to wear this, with, obviously with black tights, and this sweater, which I recently, and by recently I mean a number of hours ago, acquired from my mother. It's cashmere, and she was, I was like, oh, this is pretty. She's like, I don't wear the colour. So I was like, yoink. This is the bag that I love, from the jacket that I love, but I'm deciding not to wear. That will be really cute with this outfit. Maybe I'll reconsider. On Sunday, as I said, you can't really see it, but those are the jeans, sneak peek. They have bows. Yes, I said it. Bows. Black velvet bows. Then black turtleneck. Obviously a belt, even though I really don't need a belt to hold up the pants because I'm busting out of them. And then some heeled boots. You might be like, Amy, is that a good idea to wear heeled boots in London? Done it once. We'll do it again. I wore those ones that are now broken that I need to get rid of. Last year, all three days. So or two out of the three days, which is what I'm going to be doing this time. I'm going to travel in them. So, uh, Friday, I'm just, because I'm wearing the jeans on the two travel days, even though these are really uncomfortable, but whatever. These are comfortable. So I'm going to wear my black jeans that I wear all the time. You can see they're so faded at the knees. I wear them, like, every day for work. And then I'm between leopard and this camel cashmere, which I think I was talking about it earlier when I was talking about cashmere. And if I do wear it, I want to use this cute little quote silk scarf it's not silk it's polyester <laughs> so obviously not with the leopard but just with this and the black and I think that would look cute let me just take the leopard out I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go with this not certain I'm gonna get my mom's opinion in a moment and then obviously just accessories which mostly consists of headbands because it's me so other than that, I just need to do like makeup and accessories. So I'm just gonna pick out earrings. I'm just thinking both my Kendra Scott and my KJP earrings are navy. So they're not gonna work with this. But I know I'm gonna wear my wide black headband with the skirt outfit and potentially with the bow outfit. Whoa, that was close. So yeah, I'm just gonna figure all that out. And then this is the coat I'm gonna be pairing everything with. It's a little overexposed right now. Um. But it's from Zara, which I don't shop at anymore, but I got this maybe three or four years ago. How many years ago? Must be three. Yeah. So uh, I don't think I've shopped there since, but it is a good piece. Looks cute. And yeah, it's warm and has good pockets. So important things. So today's vlog has been like super boring, honestly, because I got like the sinus headache slash migraine, which stopped me from doing a lot of things. But I guess that's just life sometimes. I'm excited for London. I really need to get like on my packing game. Um, I'm gonna pull out my suitcase now and get things started because as I said earlier, I'm quite sure I'm working till seven tomorrow. So it's gonna be late enough when I get home and then I won't have time in the morning and I don't want to be a mess. <laughs> so I'm going to continue this vlog on to tomorrow because not much happened. It's probably long enough but uh, I'm going to try and cut it down and yeah I will see you in the morning. Good flipping morning. It's like coming up on 10 a.m. Um, I'm like dressed. I'm not working till 1. I'm working 1 till 7 because as I said yesterday we're open really late for like customers day. I'm about to play chauffeur for my family for the next like hour, two hours and um, so I have to drop everybody everywhere and then I'll come home, do my makeup and get some more of my own job stuff. We love some unflattering light. I've basically, not basically, I've actually only vlogged in my room today which is great. Uh, basically I was going to do more before I had to go to work and then I was just not on top of my game and I was almost late and I had to drive and I was bringing in my mom's car and I had to park it and she drives this big ass car and it was a situation and a half but I'm home and I am getting ready for London. So I'm just about to pack my stuff. It should actually be totally fine because I don't have that much stuff to bring. I was gonna bring another like rolling suitcase. I did, I'm flying with Ryanair and now they have this stupid thing where you have to like, you have to pay priority to have more than a handbag on board, which is stupid. 
But anyways, um, I'm going to get like all the other little things organized. I didn't organize the accessories. I just thought about it more. Um, so I'm going to do accessories and then like socks and tights and stuff. And then pack it all up. And I absolutely won't be able to pack up my makeup until tomorrow. But I will organize what I'm bringing. And then I need to charge this camera. Even though I feel like I'll probably be doing most of the recording on my phone. I kind of want to bring my camera out and about with me. Not necessarily going to do that because it's a really big camera. I'm going to think about that. So, as you just saw there... Yeah. The bag is packed. The clothes that are still on the floor. Here. Bang. Uh, that's what I'm wearing tomorrow. So, there's no need to pack that. I just need to like organize and just like lay that out um, on my chair here and yeah that's basically it like honestly I'm really sorry these two days have been kind of boring. This weekend should be really fun. Next week I'm going to try and film not vlog type videos because it's going to be so boring because I'm working every day like full days so yeah like full time so I'm working 10 till 6 and then my best friend isn't home until Friday no Saturday she has placement on Friday she's in a hospital you'll meet her this weekend hopefully she's gonna hate me so much but she actually like can't um let me share some pics so here on my wall that's me that's Rebecca it's her younger sister Grace Grace is now taller than me. Rebecca's squatting down. She is, sig uh, where we are, significantly taller than me. You will notice this. This is us as youngins. This is us maybe two summers ago. Also youngins. Um, so maybe I'll just mention that. I have known, so my, I said this before, my two best friends have like never met each other. I know that's really strange, but one's from college and the other is, is Rebecca, who I've known my basically whole life. I've known her her whole life because she's two and a half years younger than me. Um, and she is actually a day, kind of less than a day younger than my brother. And that's how our moms became friends. My mom was actually out at a wreath making workshop drinking mulled wine with my mom. Um, the two moms have been friends since they were both pregnant. Our dads worked together and they don't anymore. Yeah, and they also live like right across the road. So if you follow me on Instagram, uh, you might see pictures of me with a black and white cat and a, and a black dog. And uh, that's, they're her pets. Um, I, because they're like really good family friends, like her mom's like my second mom. I'm over there quite a bit, so that's why. <laughs> uh, she's a med student over in London. It's, uh, she's on placement this year. So when I get there, I think she just said that she's going to be at placement until five and I get there like way earlier so I'm probably just gonna hang out in her apartment which I've never been to so like that's a good idea so yeah she is going to be acting as my Instagram boyfriend for the weekend and it should be really really fun so I think I'm actually just going to close off the vlog here because things aren't gonna get any more exciting let's be honest I'm literally gonna shower and straighten my hair that's that's it uh, and then edit this maybe plan next week in my planner but um, yeah it's gonna be a no so I'm going to end this off here Follow me on Instagram for all the updates. There won't be another video until, I'm gonna say Monday. Sunday night at the absolute, actually no, I get in super late. Monday at the earliest. Um, and this should be going up Friday. So it's gonna be like a weekend in my life um, in London, woo. So that is it for this episode of Vlogmas. It's an episode, not a day because I'm not keeping track. I think it's episode four. So. Happy Vlogmas. Follow me on Instagram at anime.yt to keep up with all the London adventures and I will see you in my next episode.